So the fire is starting in a waste can in the corner. So it's got a small flame just starting to flicker in there at this time. That's just paper products in a garbage can, as if a cigarette had been dropped in a garbage can, okay? You hear the smoke alarm initiating now, within seconds. Without that smoke alarm, that smoke alarm is what's buying you time to get out of that structure. Without the smoke alarm, you can see how fast it's beginning to spread. Now the corner of the couch is becoming involved. And once the arm of that couch is involved, you'll see the fire accelerate even more rapidly. You can now start to see some black smoke coming off of the flames. In just a second, that black smoke will be filling the ceiling and you'll start seeing that black smoke begin to exit out of the structure. You can see the smoke coming out of the front of the structure now. So hopefully, if you'd been home, you would have been able to exit your home already, dialed 911. It takes about two minutes to make that 911 call and get the fire department on the road, and then it'll take us four or five minutes to get there. So about the same time that this room will be going to 1150 degrees, you hope that the fire department's arriving and extinguishing the fire. At this point, you'll see that the fire will accelerate exponentially every second. Y'all ready? On air? Okay, now watch the material across the couch. You'll see that the material will start melting and deforming as the heat comes down. When that material starts deforming, it's giving off gas vapor that will ignite. Now look up at the ceiling. You see the smoke burning at the ceiling now. So we're, we're at about a thousand degrees at the ceiling. And at this point, it's igniting every, see the little chair catch on fire? Go, 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 guys. Notice the carpet's on fire. There was nothing burning on the carpet. The carpet was heated up, began giving vapors off that will ignite, and when it went to 1150 degrees, it all ignited. Okay, go ahead and knock it down, guys. So we hope that seeing is believing. Okay? We hope that seeing is believing. When you, when you first notice the fire, do you make any attempt to try to put it out yourself? We would prefer you, you not, unless you've had some training with a fire extinguisher and have it immediately available. We've had two fires in Oak Ridge where they attempted to fight the fire themselves before they dialed 911. So by the time we got there, their house was fully involved. So we prefer you exit out of the house, dial 911, do not go back in.